Ukrainian defense contractor Euker in Mash Corporation has launched a prototype of the new Kevlar E infantry fighting vehicle, reports defenseblog.com. This story was first reported by mil.in.ua, who released prototype photos. The private Ukrainian company is developing a new infantry fighting vehicle or IFV based on the Soviet-era 2S-1 self-propelled howitzer. The new IFV vehicle uses the 2S-1 multi-purpose chassis and is equipped with the new Sturm long-range weapon station. The hull is based on the Soviet 2S-1 self-propelled howitzer with thicker armor and a special box for six passengers in addition to three crew members. The engine room is directly behind the front crew member with hatch access provided on the roof. The exhaust outlet is on the right side of the hull with the ventilation air intake grills on the roof on the left side, in an arrangement similar to the 2S1 self-propelled artillery system. In addition, the Ukrainian armored vehicle manufacturer Ingwar has also unveiled its concept of a new high-speed, maneuverable lightweight vehicle. The new vehicle is developing to perform a wide sphere of combat missions, these include high-speed straight-on attacks, forward operating reconnaissance or scout units, coordinated air-dropped ground assault and multiple entry point integrated operations. According to a company statement, a new fast attack vehicle is light enough and compact enough to fit inside an 178 or C-130 cargo planes for air transportability. The vehicle can scale a 60% incline and has a top speed of 180 km per hour. It requires a crew of two, and can seat eight combat ready dismounts. A fast attack vehicle can be configured with any type of remote-controlled weapon station, and can typically be armed with either a machine gun up to caliber 14, 5mm or an anti-tank missile weapon. The company has offered concept the commander of the air assault troops of the military forces of Ukraine and said that to build first prototype for Ukrainian air assault troops.